I wish I can have more Barbie toys. More Barbie toys? Maybe you'll get that wish for Christmas, because Christmas is coming up. Christmas? Yeah. That's not here. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and Zaya. <laughs> Today we are going to be working on decorating her room again. If you guys have not seen part one of this series, because I guess this is a series now, uh, I will link it down below. You guys should check it out. In part one, we figured out her main wall color. We figured out some of her bedding and stuff. And I've actually added a few things in here since then. So I wanted to show you what I've added. And I also wanted to show you kind of like the next steps of what I'm gonna be adding in today. So Zaya is putting on her socks and shoes right now because we're actually getting ready to go to the store to get a few things for what we're gonna be doing today. So just to kind of show you guys where we left off on the last video and kind of what we're starting with now, we added a few things since then. So you guys saw in the last video that Zaya picked out this kind of pink and turquoise mint green corally butterfly printed bedding this is from target we also had like a few throw pillows and stuff obviously her bed is not made obviously this is not the final product of what the bed is going to look like but just to kind of show you the main color scheme pink on those walls. Zaya has been asking to paint all her walls pink, but the thing is, she wants all pink everything. She wanted pink bedding, she wanted pink nightstands, pink curtains, pink walls, pink, she would have probably picked a pink bed frame if I let her, and she wants to paint all the rest of these walls pink. But I told her that's just too much pink. We're definitely gonna have pink in your room, like on every corner, but I don't think we're gonna paint your whole room pink and have pink everything. Now we're gonna paint these walls. Okay, well we'll see. So yeah, this is just kind of like the main color scheme and the main like bedding. She picked this out, so this is kind of what I'm working around for the whole rest of the room. And then what you guys did not see are these nightstands. So it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of backlit, but it's like a coral color that matches with the bedding. These are from West Elm. These got delivered after the last video. They've got these little drawers. They're like very like mid-century modern. So I got two of those for either side of her bed, just again to bring in that pink, cause she wants all pink everything. And then also what you didn't see is we had the curtains hung up since then. So she has these gold curtain rods and these very light, white, whimsical, sheer flowy, crinkly curtains just because she really didn't need curtains like for privacy because she already has blinds this is just really for decoration and to add like a little whimsical girly touch I feel like it looks cute with the bed and everything like that this lamp you saw that we bought this star thingy is actually a lamp I have to hook it up to the lamp part this is from Ikea so that'll be cute so she has like two different lamps on both sides and other than that, the rest of the room is kind of looking kind of, you know, not put together. We have the cloud shelves that we got in the last video. They're not hung up yet because we need to paint the wall before we hang them up. These walls can be pink and that one can be turquoise. Turquoise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we painted this wall a very light mint turquoisey color. Zaya is begging for us to paint the rest of the walls pink, but we gonna see. So the thing with her room is that I am trying to like let her pick out stuff and obviously it's her room, I want her to like it, but at the same time she's three and like I said, if it was up to her, she would just literally pick, pick like all pink, everything, different shades of pink and it would just not look good. So I'm trying to give her something that she likes and let her pick out certain things, but since she is still little, I'm also, you know, I have to make some executive decisions as the mom. That's just how it is, okay? A lot of like viewers in my last video were kind of mad at me for like not just letting her do whatever she wanted, but y'all can do that with your own kids, okay? I am trying to have a balance of things that she wants, but also making it look nice and also because I plan on staying in this house for a long time and of course I will let her redecorate her room when she gets older. I had to put that disclaimer in there. Y'all know I had to put that disclaimer in there because people get mad when I don't let my three-year-old do whatever she wants. So 
Just so we're clear on that. So on this wall, I've decided to go for like a dress up area. So it's gonna be like a mirror with hooks and dress up clothes and cute little things, tiaras and necklaces and stuff. Just because this was like another empty wall and I didn't know what to do with it. So I thought a dress up area would be cute. So I've started to kind of get things together for that, but you guys will see that later. Um, for this wall above the bed though, that's what I'm gonna be focusing on in this video. I saw something on Pinterest that I thought was really cute to kind of go with the cloud theme cloud stars and moons so basically her room is like cloud stars moons and butterflies <laughs> it's a mix of all things that she likes so I wanted to do this cloud sculpture installation thingamajig above her bed I saw it on Pinterest I'll insert a picture here um, I'm going to attempt to make something cute like that to go above her bed that's the main thing I'm focusing on for today and also over here I probably won't get to it today but she is going to have a big pink canopy hanging down and it's going to create like a reading nook so that's why we have this rug and these pillows down here and these shelves are going to go next to it put some books on the shelves it's going to be like a nice little cozy reading nook situation and then above the dresser I bought something really special to go above the dresser I'll go ahead and show y'all and give y'all a little sneak peek I'm hiding some stuff in her closet but this thing you guys will see that come to life later for above her dresser yes books for the reading nook we're gonna take some of your books put it on these little shelves I also got a few little cute things these are from Hobby Lobby just little wooden a llama a moon and a little cloud thing yeah. just to like hmm it has a happy face. Just something like this. Just like a couple of cute books with a couple of knickknacks. Just make it look cute like that. And we've got two of those. Also on her dresser, this is the same dresser from her original nursery. And it has these silver handles. So since we're kind of going with more of like a gold hardware theme in here, I was going to take off those and replace them with some gold ones. So I'm still on the hunt for like the perfect gold handles. Um, it's Grammy and you will open them all. Yes, yeah, so you have to be very careful when you're dealing with the dresser because you can slam your fingers, right? <laughs> so overall right now her room is pretty much in shambles. You can see we've got a lot of ideas, but a lot of things have yet to be executed. So that's what we're going to start working on today. Sit down, strap up, please. Okay. We got to go to Party City and get some stuff for your room. They sell party supplies and costumes, but we need to get a special thing for your room from there. Mm -hmm. Like costumes? No. I'll show you when we get there. Strap up. Okay, so we ended up going to Party City, which is what I originally... <laughs> you can't just walk in here with no pants on. You just messed up my shot. Anyways, we ended up going to Party City, which was where I needed to go because I think I need some of these lanterns for my cloud sculpture thing. Like these sphere things. I don't know, I'm not sure. I really don't know what I'm doing with this cloud thing. We're gonna see. I have some other stuff over there that I already bought for it, but I wanted to get some of those just in case. Then we went to Target because, because, and I ended up getting this pillow because I've been Looking at it for a while, it's like gray, pink, it says sparkle with gold on it, and these colors all go with her room, so I thought this would be cute to add to her bed. Then I had to get some nails, because I think for the cloud sculpture, I'm gonna have to nail the stuff into the wall, I'm not sure. And then I got this throw blanket, because in the last video, y'all saw that we got this blanket, but it's like way too bright. Like once we brought it in here, it didn't match with some of the other shades of pink of some of the other stuff. So we really like, I don't know, I thought that like me and my mom both said like, this just looks too bright. So this I think might look better. And they had one matching like pillowcase because we also got pillowcases that matched this. We returned the pillowcases. We were not able to return this because we put it on the bed. Zaya took a nap in the bed and then Zaya peed in the bed. <laughs> So she christened this blanket before we were able to return it. So now we're just gonna have it as like an extra blanket in the closet, I guess. But but in terms of actually having like a decorative throw blanket that matches the room, 
it looks I think already I can tell that this will match better so then they had one pillowcase they didn't have I need two they only had one at Target of like the matching color but then my mom was at home goods and she found two pillowcases that kind of match with the color scheme as well They're a little bit lighter but we're doing like a variety of different like tones of pink just not like bright like this uh, so my mom got these at home goods i think we'll be able to use these she also did get a we've been we just been <laughs> clearly going a little uh overboard with trying to get the right stuff for zaya's room lots of buying and returning and trying and returning and it's just it's hard to get the colors right i don't know why it's so hard why do you keep putting your pants down <laughs> i'm already feeling like i like the darker pink blanket that i picked rather than this one this one is like really close to the one that we decided we didn't like um i like the darker pink one because it ties in more of like the nightstands still goes with the butterflies but it ties that in and it's gonna kind of tie in her canopy it goes more with the tones of her canopy that's gonna be hanging over here which is an even darker pink so i'm trying to bring in more of these type of colors to kind of I don't know make it look I feel like it looks more sophisticated more expensive in a way when you use like some muted colors mixed in with the bright colors I think we're just gonna return this pillowcase return this blanket I wish we could return this blanket but that's fine um, and then we'll put this 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 on the bed and see how it looks Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys that I bought a bed skirt off of Amazon. I order a lot of stuff off of Amazon because for simple things, like even for like pillowcases and throw blankets, I could have got it off of Amazon, but it's just harder to tell when you need like an exact color. But for like plain white stuff, I got this bed skirt and it has like little pom-poms going around the bottom, which I thought was like so cute and girly. So this bed skirt what i like about it is it literally just goes around the bed instead of having to like lift up the mattress so i'm gonna try and put this on the bed as well because right now you can literally just see the mattress poking out okay i'm not even sure i put this on correctly but it's so cute i love the little pom-poms i think it goes perfectly with the actual bed frame because it kind of mimics the little round things and then i don't know i just think it's so cute cute and girly okay now let me fix the rest of the bed okay so here is the bed pretty much done i think if anything i would like to add like a different like mint green color pillow. I had one on here, but it wasn't like quite matching. So either I would leave it like this or I would add like a pop of mint green somewhere with the pillows. But honestly, I think this looks pretty good. Ah. You like it? Ah, and baby. Do you see what I changed or what I added? Do you notice what I did? What did I do? What did I add to it? Can you point it out? That blanket and that pillow and what else? There's actually two more things. I added those pink pillows in the back. Yeah, and then I also added, look at the pom-poms on the bottom part. You like that? I have little balls. Those are called pom-poms. It's just for decoration to be cute. And it kind of has little tassels on here too, which I think is They're cute. Mm-hmm. But do you like your bed, yes or no? Okay. Baby says yes too. Okay. And then this little star thing is actually a lamp too. This is just like the cover for it. But it goes on this stand over here. And it did not come with the light bulb. And it's like a special type of light bulb that goes in there. So I have to find that or order that. And then I will put the light. I will put the shade on the light source. And that will be able to light up on this side as well. And plug into here. But for now... I mean, the little thing itself just serves as like a cute little decoration. I can't stop saying the word little. <laughs> I need to stop doing that. It serves as a 
cute decoration. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to get the bed in order and get kind of everything I had on this wall just so I could see what it was looking like before I go in and add this cloud thingy that I'm trying to do. So I'm pretty happy with the overall color scheme and how everything is coming together with the bed and the nightstand. So now I feel like I can start on the cloud thing. The only thing is I'm really not too confident about this cloud thing because I literally just saw a picture and I was like, I can do that and I have nothing else to go off of except for that so I'm making this up as I go along I hope it looks good I hope it doesn't look tacky because I just don't know what I'm doing but let's just let's just get into it okay so I think I actually want to start off with these lights that we got from Ikea they are the Strala star lights and they hang down in like strips like this so that's kind of like a little illustration of like how they hang down. Okay, so here are the lights. So they're like little stars. The lights themselves are stars. First things first. So this is the part where you plug it in and then you gotta open up the whole big actual thing. Okay, I think I need to lay this out on the floor. don't have instructions you don't read the instructions you don't follow my instructions it takes you much longer to do things so don't don't follow do what I say not as I do but I think I know how to hang these freaking lights now I think yes yes <laughs> thank you hype man I'm not hype man I'm I'm the mommy being stupid all you gotta do is put nails on the wall because it has hooks on it you hook it on it's on there hopefully you guys can see that it's literally just nailed to the wall and then the things hang down so I unraveled all the things and they hang down perfectly like right above the bed like it was just enough space you can turn the lights off now Zaya Look how pretty they look with the lights turned on and they're little stars which matches Mommy, the motif. Somebody like this. Yeah, they're all flip. I mean, that's okay. They're kind of all facing different ways. I try to make most of them face the front so you can see the star shape. But you like it? Yeah, but they're on the looking so looking different ways. Oh, sorry. I can't make them face the they're just supposed to like hang like that. I mean, we could try to flip them around a little bit, but I mean, I could actually put some more nails to like hold them and make them face the front, maybe. Yeah. What do you think though? You like them? Yeah, they look like little cookie stars. Little cookie stars? Is it pretty? Yes. Wow. That's so cool, Zaya. You making a wish? I wish I can play with Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> At least I can play it play Doh. Play with Play Doh? I would fall asleep. So, so the truth fairy can come and mommy you can be the truth fairy and I will be the little girl. Okay? Okay. Ooh, I'm Tooth Fairy. Checking under your pillow for a tooth. <laughs> no tooth! I do. It's a pretend tooth. Oh. Ooh, I got this good tooth. I'm gonna take you back to my Tooth Fairy castle. Bye bye. You forgot my play doh. Oh, I supposed to give you something? Play doh. No, I'm not giving you play doh. <laughs> okay, so the other thing that I was going to add to this, besides the actual like cloud part of it, I got this off of Amazon. It came with two packs of gold glitter paper stars on a string, and it's just like garland 
like to decorate for a party or something but I thought this would be cute to mix into the lights, like put in between the lights, just because when the lights are turned off, for example, like this during the day, you really can't see them, it really doesn't look like anything. So I thought it would be nice to have the paper stars hanging there too, just so that you would still like see something. So I was gonna like attach these in between okay so there's that i definitely think it's cute but i'm trying to decide if it looks too much like birthday party decorations i think it might come together more when i actually put the cloud part up there okay guys so here's the thing here's where i'm at with this thingy with bobby so i bought a couple of these lanterns i wasn't sure if i was going to use these or a mixture between those and these things these things are what turn into that thing up here. So it's just a paper decoration, but you have to fluff it out and shape it yourself, and it takes forever to make it go from this little flat strip of tissue paper into a nicely fluffed out paper ball. But I think that these are cuter than these, also because these just don't give you that fluffy cloud effect as much. On the picture that I saw, I think they used a mixture of both, but I don't know, I'm just not really, I'm not really feeling these, although they're much easier to put together. The idea is that I take a whole bunch of these things and arrange them up there in like the shape of a cloud. So it looks like a cloud with the stars raining down over the bed, but, I don't know, I'm kind of torn on it because I, I feel like maybe the stars are too much, like the gold stars. I feel like once I get all these paper balls up there, I just don't want it to look like a temporary party decoration because that's what these are, they're party decorations. I really want it to look like a piece of art, something cute that you're supposed to like leave up. Like I don't want it to look temporary. I don't know if that makes sense. So I guess I'm just gonna sit here and start Putting these things together, I put together one and it took me like literally five whole minutes. So it's gonna take me like an hour to put together all these things. But I feel like that's the only way I'm gonna find out if I really wanna like do this or not. So here goes nothing. So I think I'm gonna be smart actually and go downstairs. I'm gonna take them to my bed downstairs and watch TV and sit in my bed and just sit there for a while and put these things together. Cause I know this is about to take me a while, but a mother's love, am I right? Anything for my child. Okay, so a long time later, here's where we're at right now. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think, of these little paper things that I put together and they're all hanging on these little white strings. So my plan is to just scotch tape them up there just to kind of lightly hold them in place so I can like move around and see if I like it. And then after I decide that I actually like it, I'll actually take a hammer and a nail and put a little nail in the strings. Right now I'm just taping the strings to the ceiling. I'll put a nail in it so that it holds it a lot more securely. But I just want to see if I even like this first. I actually found out instead of nailing it, because use it like holding the nail and using the hammer like straight up was too hard. So I'm just using a stapler, regular old stapler, and stapling the strings into the wall. Is that looking like a cloud? Looks pretty cloudish. Looks like a rain cloud to me. Get it? Zaya Rain. The other wall is gonna have her name on it, Zaya, and then this wall is gonna Zaya Rain. What do you think? What does that look like up there? Clouds, it's gonna rain. It looks like rain clouds. Mm -hmm. Okay, a few hours later, and I am finally done with the cloud installation. I'm actually pretty happy with how it came out. I think it turned out pretty cute. I think there's still a few changes or additions that I could probably make and just like adjust it and zhuzh it up a little bit. But overall, this is the main idea, and I think. I think it reads, I think it resonates, I think it gets, it gets the idea across. If some stranger were to walk in here, they'd be like, oh, it's a cloud. Like, I think it looks like a cloud, right? Comment down below and tell me if, <laughs> if you just randomly walked into this room, would you be able to tell? 
that that's a cloud or would you be like what the heck is that because that's the only thing that I'm worried about but overall I'm really happy with how I've kind of like fixed up the bedding and landed on more of a more muted color scheme with the bedding I think that looks really cute with the nightstand so everything is kind of like tied in and coordinates only thing I'm kind of upset about is the plug for the lights is a bit of an eyesore because the plug is not hidden behind the curtain like it is on that side for some reason so that's just like bam like right there so I'm gonna try and maybe get something to go right there to like hide that or something or figure out how to just maybe string it the other way and plug it over here but the thing is these two plugs are already taken up by the sound machine and the lamp so I'd have to flip everything around and I don't know anyway it's fixable but yeah, that's just the only thing that's kind of bothering me right now. This is what it would look like with the lights turned off. And I think it's cute because this kind of doubles as like a night light. Zaya really does not need a, a night light at all, but if she ever decides that she wants to sleep with a night light, we can just use this as a night light. So if you turn the lamp off and completely have all the lights off except for the star lights, Oh my god, that looks so cool! It actually looks so cool with all the lights turned off. Wow! Okay, now I'm proud of myself because that actually looks so cool! And I know it kind of looks like a lot of light on camera. The camera is picking it up differently than in real life, but in real life it's actually like the perfect amount of light for just like a night light. If you guys have kids out there that need night lights, this is an idea for you, I guess. And then just to show you with the lights turned back on, but then to see what it looks like without it on, because I also wanted to make sure that it looks good during the daytime. So during the daytime, you kind of don't really notice the lights, but you still have the golden stars there to kind of like take its place during the daytime, if that makes sense. So I think that that turned out to be a good idea as well. And essentially, like I said, I stapled the strings for the pom-poms to the ceiling. So it's just on there with like staples and scotch tape. It's secure enough for the fact that nobody's ever gonna be touching that, but also temporary enough to where it'd be really easy to take it down if I ever did wanna take it down, as well as the golden stars are just stapled and taped to the wall behind it, but you can't see it because it's all covered up. And then the lights are just on there with like three nails. So everything is like minimal damage, minimal, you know, work to take it down. I know what you guys are thinking though. I already know that somebody is gonna say something about dust and they're gonna be like, aren't, aren't those gonna get so dusty? Like, how are you gonna dust them? I mean, I could take a feather duster up there and just shake them around and just shoot if they ever do get super dusty, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. This is not a permanent forever years and years and years thing. This is just something for right now. Maybe I'll take it down next year. Who knows? Let's not get caught up in the details. <laughs> you ready to see the finished products? Come here. What do you think? Mm. Look. You forgot these stuff. I'm not done with the whole room yet, Zaya. You are so, you never appreciate my work. Look at what I made on the wall above your bed. <laughs> what do you think? Uh. Do you like it? Okay, but I wanna show you something cool that you haven't really seen. Okay, come stand right here. Okay, ready? <laughs> Is that pretty? Yes, but why turn the cast off? I didn't turn the cloud off, I turned the light off so you can see how cool it looks without with the lights off. Oh. See, it looks pretty with the light on but it looks super cool with the light off, right? What do you think? Does it look cool with the light off? What does it look like? It looks like clouds raining and it looks like stars falling down. Clouds raining with stars falling down? Do you know why you have a rain cloud in your room? Why? Because your name is... Zaya. What's your middle name? Your name is Zaya. <laughs> Rain! Zaya Rain! <laughs> and now you have a rain cloud in your room! But why? Zaya Rain! But why for the rain cloud is gonna, in my room, it's gonna rain? It's not real rain. You're not gonna get wet. You just have pretty stars up there that look like rain and you can make a wish every night. I'm not having it. You wanna make a wish? 
Do what with your baby doll? You said what? I wish I can play with my baby doll. Oh, you wish to play with your baby doll? Well, you do that every day. You should wish for something magical, something special that you never get to do. I wish I can have, I don't know. <laughs> I wish I can have more Barbie toys. More Barbie toys? Oh, that's a good wish. Maybe you'll get that wish for Christmas, because Christmas is coming up. Christmas? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well first we gotta do Halloween, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and my creation, and subscribe if you haven't already, that way you don't miss it. Okay guys, just kidding, bonus feature at the end of this vlog. I wanted to go ahead and add this in here because my mom came over today. It's the next day after I did the cloud thingy. She came over and she was like, mm, not feeling it <laughs> with the bedding. And I wanted to include this because maybe some of you guys were feeling this same way too. But I had showed you that I was using this darker throw blanket, but my mom is like, no, you should use the, remember I told y'all that she had a blanket that she had picked out. That was the one I picked out, this is the one she picked out. And so this is her version, her idea of how the bedding should be. So, you know, if you look at the high end don't do that. <laughs> photos of bedding, they always have several layers. And I like the I like the idea of bringing in the teal and the different pinks with the butterfly. And I like the idea of having the butterflies, but only as like an accent. So you can still see it, but it's not like taking over the room. And if you still wanted to stop sighing. <laughs> if you still wanted to, since you're gonna have this dark thing in the corner, <laughs> if you're gonna insist on that. I really didn't get to the story behind the canopy Yeah, I was gonna show y'all the canopy, and I still am gonna show y'all the canopy set up in the next video. But with this canopy, I was on the hunt for a canopy that was this like light pink color, not bubblegum pink, not Barbie princess pink, because those are not the colors we're going for in here, but a light dusty rose pink, and I could not find one you guys like I searched and searched and searched and then when I thought I found one it was like a horrible quality one off of Amazon that wasn't even it just was impossible so this was the one I came across from Pottery Barn it was on sale it was on like double sale and it was final sale because it was on sale so I just acted on it from the pictures it looked like it was gonna be that color when I got it is this color and it was final sale and so I'm just kind of like uh, you know it's still it's in the same family as some of the stuff we have Going. So anyway, that's why we have that canopy and that's why I was using this darker blanket to go with it. But this is my mom's version. <laughs> Basically she's saying like, layer up everything together. But yeah, if you look at like all the furniture catalogs, she is right, like they layer up a lot of different things on the bed to make it look prettier. Like a lot of blankets and stuff. I wouldn't put the pillow like that, but. <laughs> You got two Virgos in here putting in our input on this. Keep changing our mind, changing stuff around. I mean, yeah, I could, yeah. I could see how like using both blankets instead of just the one looks good. And it brings in a lot more pink with having this pink quilt on there as well. And you know, Zaya wants as much pink as possible. Having seen the vision in the bed right now, I am not loving the green. No, we're not changing the green paint. I refuse. Like this would be um, Pinterest perfect room. What's wrong with the paint color? It's just, it's just, not, it's, just uh, it's looking like nice. you pick, you low key picked out this paint color. No, I didn't. I picked it out from the choices you gave me. <laughs> that was the best choice. Now I'm just feeling like if the whole room was like the muted gray. Paint the whole room gray, you know that's not what no, she wants. Pink. So she's even saying it. Pink. Pink yeah, everything. No, just, just I just wanted to add this in at the end of this video just to basically show y'all that nothing is set in stone. Nothing is completed. We're still changing things around, trying to figure out. Cause I'm really trying to make a Pinterest perfect, really, really cute. This isn't just 
oh, throw something together. It's just a place to sleep. Like this is like, I'm really trying to make it cute. And obviously I'm a content creator. I'm like gonna take photos of this, post this to, you know what I mean? Like, so if you're wondering why I'm stressing out so much, it's like, you know, this is part of my content. And I also really want Zaya to love it. And I really want it to be something nice that, you know, lasts for a couple years. So anyway, I think updating the bed using both blankets. I still like the cloud sculpture. You, do you like the cloud sculpture? I love it. Okay, we've got approval on the cloud sculpture. Oh. Anyways, I'm still, I'm gonna end this video here before we get into painting and what we're gonna do on the rest of the walls. Like I said, there's gonna be another video after that, so just stay tuned to see what we decide for the next steps, but we're struggling, clearly. But yeah, that's it. 